All right, so this, uh, this is 20 pound DIY lightsaber build. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I want to see what this is like. This should be, uh, this should be good. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now today we're hey, going man. to be building a lightsaber for 20 pounds or under. This is part of my 3000 sub build challenge. So let's go. Okay, cool. Bucket head props. So I've been planning this for a little while, so I've been on the lookout for different parts, I've been visiting different shops, and also looking online for different bits and bobs, and here's what I've come up with to build my lightsaber. So the base of my saber is going to be this aluminium tube, this is a one and a half inch aluminium tube. Believe okay. it or not, I couldn't find anything like this locally in this sort of length or eBay. diameter, so I actually got this online. I just went on eBay and bought what I needed. Now these are the parts that are going to make the main parts of my lightsaber and be some of the internal structure. These are all just plumbing end caps which um, conveniently the small ones fit the end of my tube and the big ones go over your tube? Will do once I do that and it'll look quite finished. Okay. So, so I've got two couplers, th three big end bits and two small end bits. Actually nearly everything here comes from a different store. I don't I know if this is going to be a working lightsaber. I'm guessing pieces. it's just a lightsaber prop. There we due go. Due to the channel, I don't think it'll be one that's actually functions. These cost me altogether one pound fifty. So these are going to fit together in some configuration, like so. Going to make them all fit and look fancy. Okay. One pound fifty. Color being trees. I, I'm looking forward to see what it comes were, out. But we should be able to make some nice little buttons and finishing pieces out of this because they're quite nicely machined. It needs to be finished working. And that's one. what they are. And finally, I have this, which is a uh, um, the TV module, which yeah. I guess you plug a TV aerial into. Well, you didn't um, say it has to be working. I mean, make a nice control box on the saber, and that was 90p. 90p. Can't argue with that. Okay. So these are all the parts that I bought for this build. They've come in under budget, which is great, which gives me a little bit of wiggle room. But it's time to get cutting and building and to build a lightsaber. Let's go. Now in my collection, I had this end piece. This is the end of a uh, Graflex. Uh, the uh, the Graflite that I actually used for my holiday special Luke saber. This was the end that was unused. Um, I was struggling to think what I was gonna do for a pommel for this saber, but Here's my tube, here's the end. I mean, I think I'd be stupid not to use this. And it gives you that Graflex heritage. It won't there be very good. Too, which is lovely. Dude, I, I have not no idea. Budget, it may look really cool. This challenge, we're going to do some scrounging on parts. I mean, to bear in mind, he's trying to spend less than 20 pounds to build a lightsaber handle. So, firstly, I don't think it'll have sound or light or anything like that. I think it's literally just going to be the handle. Um... And it might look really good, it could look really crap, but this is what a lot of people do when they make lightsabers, just buy or get hold of loads of scrap parts and just chuck them together in a pleasing configuration. You know, that's that's what some people do. And some, I'll, I'll tell you what, some of the ones in the forums I've seen just look unbelievable. And they're made for, and the ones I'm thinking of are made from PVC. So... Do. And that's one of them. I just need to do things like take off the screws on the side here because I don't need those. We can get to assembling. God. All that. I might save those screws for later though. But bits like this are going to fit quite nicely into bits like that with a bit of modding. So here's my plan laid out. We've got the cap down there. We're going to have a middle section with this, with them all squeezed in there. Mm -hmm. This is going to be the control box, which is going to sit in there. We're going to come up to here to a small that section uses a Dremel. Move into a thin neck of brass, which moves up to the emitter, which is going to be cut. And then I thought this sort of situation up the top, which is going to be inside the emitter, where the lightsaber supposedly comes out. Okay. And then I've got these guys. Yeah, which are going to be little buttons, which are going to be recessed. Maybe one up in here, and maybe one in the handle. But yeah, that's the plan. 
So these bits I'm going to use for my shroud and midsection piece have this writing on it. So I'm just going to sand this off and give these a nice even finish. So as I was working on this I found that the sandpaper really wasn't doing it for me. So I decided to try a file instead and even that was difficult so I actually just resorted to a scalpel blade and that just took that text off really nicely. And really all you need for this is just a vise and a hacksaw and you can you can mod quite a few bits especially if they're made of brass just this yeah, way. True. You can see I cut off the, the little nubs there which I'm going to use later on and then in terms of finishing the brass it's just lots of filing in that vise. Yeah. So what, th Which this is, is lot, a lot a of this is similar to what I did when really I first nice started results. making them. Not huge amounts of difference. I mean, the very, very first ones, basically, I did the exact same thing almost. I went and bought plumbing parts. Uh, and these are, these ones are never sold, but the very first time I actually tried to make them, it was just out of plumbing parts and some plastic PVC tubing. You know? I wish I had 3,000 subscribers. So I've bought this bolt and some nuts and washers because I wanted to add some internal uh, Don't forget, to guys, I will be giving a PlayStation and, uh, 1 a S, price, I believe it is, much, away but this at 1,000 subscribers. So and if you want a chance to win, together. you need to subscribe. Something like that. That's kind of cool. So, not exactly going to like that. managed to drill through the bit underneath this. So I've just cut off the rest and we're going to smooth this up. So instead of having this one embed into this piece, it's just going to sit flush on the top of here. So I've cut a hole in one of those big pieces and this is one of the little pieces. That now slits inside. Now, okay. this is going to be the shroud. The big one slips in there. Mm -hmm. Small one goes through. They lock together, which leaves a little lip in there, which fits that brass piece perfectly. So okay. all the brass pieces come off of here, and then I'm going to run the screw through nah. all of that to hold all that together. That along with a bit of glue, and I think it'll be pretty solid. Quite clever. Just means I need to drill a little hole in this small one for that bolt. Something that like looks kind of cool. It looks like a mini flamethrower, though. This is going to pop up Yep. All put together. This is good. This is good. I think the one of those brass parts. I think Maybe I actually used the exact use same part sander. for my thin neck I when I first the made it, the first thin neck lightsaber. Like and then just sanded it down until it got to the point that I wanted. If it doesn't make sound light up, it's not a real lightsaber. Well, I think you're being a bit harsh on him for that. I, I, if it looks and seems like a lightsaber, I'm going to say it's a lightsaber, personally. I thought you wanted to sand it down. Oh, right, okay. Now to fit this little control box in there, all I had to do was drill some holes and then I used a fine saw blade just to cut out that hole and then tied it up with files. What is that? So I'm actually just about ready to start my glue up. I've already done a test glue up on this piece using oh, that so bolt it together. Right, and okay. some E6000 glue. This stuff right yeah, here, I use this stuff is very strong. It takes about a day to three days, it says on the packet, to cure. I found about a day is fine usually in sort of room temperature. Um, but this stuff is strong, it's really strong, and it seems to be holding together really well. So this section okay. is actually all glued up and polished. Now I was polishing all my bits on the mop just to get a nice finish. I found that these bits really didn't like that polisher. The polisher actually started sanding into them. They must be really soft compared to this stuff. But that also means a bit of tidy up to do on here because the mop really ate into this this underpiece here. 
uh, but we can we can sand that flush that's fine other than that we are just about ready for glue up I've got all my pieces fitting very nicely uh, th these now fit into here just about enough to glue so I'm ready to start gluing and I'm going to glue in stages I'm just looking forward so to see what this looks like at the end we don't get anything misaligned but yeah let's do the final glue up yes let's I'm, I, I'm looking forward to seeing what this looks like, man. Was it me? That, was that quite satisfying when they just like slowly slipped into place? It was satisfying. Yeah. Now I'm finally at my last two bits. So let's get these lined up and together. So that's my sabre glued mm. up. It's pretty much there. I've got to add the little brass detail up here. I quite like oh, it. I've got this other connector thing and I wanted to add another button somewhere. It does fit in here just because that's what it does but it doesn't look right there. I yeah, considered I putting that. it on the front here lining it up with this one but it doesn't quite sit and I've got to be able to hold it like like this you know um, but I figured with Star Wars most things aren't square or linear or even um, yeah, so true. I think I'm actually going to pop this one on the side just over I here. I like that idea. I, I, I'd, that I'd like that there. So we're going to drill a hole over here and just glue that in. Start small, work our way up. <coughs> so change of plan as always. My original idea was to have uh, the body of this to sink into here so that would go in that hole. Thing is, I can't actually drill this hole deep enough with my stepping bit because there is that threaded rod which runs all the way down to the bottom of here. Uh, I can't drill all the way in. So I can't make this hole quite big enough. It's very close, but I can't make it big enough. So my plan B, this is just a socket cap bolt, I believe it's called. And what I'm going to do, that's going to sit in there like that. We'll get it straight. I'm going to cap it with that little piece which is just the end of that. Ooh, I like that. And then that. I it in my, um, my scraps box, I found a little knurled brass piece like this, and that's just going to sit in the top there. Ooh, and yeah, that's that cool one. one. So we'll get all this squared up, and that will just sit in there. That's that's pretty good. I'm impressed with that. that looks, see, it looks a lot better. Just need to get this guy in. When it's nearly flush. done, then you just, then then expect then it to. I'm getting glued in there. I also have this CoverTech knob. I have no idea where this came from, but this is what they used in the prequels to attach. They were a the nightmare to, to get, get along with the clip. Those CoverTech so things. I box. Like I said, I don't know where it came from, but I'm going to use it on my saber just so I can. No, I never use them. Uh, I just, I I just found them to be it, so uh, impossibly hard to get hold of. And and for what they were, they were so expensive. Uh, so I just there. didn't bother. And then I'm just going to drill and tap the saber so we can pop this on. I got one of those. Now he's doing a tap. It's nice and thin, so it went through easy. Oh, he's got to see if our bolt's going to screw in, which I really hope it does. The bolt goes in really nicely. He's gluing everything anyway, so it should be Yes. Fine. Yep, so now we should just be able to screw on that cover tech. Let's grab a screwdriver. Awesome. This is going beautifully. I'm so happy. I like it. All I'm I like going to do that. now is just add some weathering. I'm just going to use I really like the, from the acrylic. I, just actually, to tie it all I like it all. And add a bit of that used look. It all looks good. All right. Don't want any brush strokes or any evidence of paint being put down. Just enough in the crevices to tie it all together it can really help in all these nooks and crannies like down here where this button joins mm. the rest of the saber there Put that on. Put that away after all the lightsaber should be uh it should be pretty well looked after but 
Let's give it that kind of, more of an original trilogy kind of look, I guess. Just a little bit of you like it that now. here and there. Yeah, I said it was going to be good. It's nothing fancy. You never know until it's finished. Just it does look it really good. Taking it back off. It just goes into all the crevices here. Just enough to make to you feel that they've been together for a while. Used. I quite like the switch section as well, even though it's exposed. It also, if I want to this cool for that. Level, I'd use my water mixable oil paints. Uh, they are fantastic at getting this greasy look, but they take about a week to dry, and I just don't have the time on this build. This is a very much time constrained build, so the acrylics will do fine. Just this mix of black and brown. Yeah, acrylics aren't bad. Working just fine. And I think I am calling that done. I, I, I like it. I think it's pretty cool, man. If that was a real lightsaber functioning, I'd be tempted. Honestly, I'd, I'd be tempted by that. So there we go guys, that is the lightsaber all done. I am I like really it. happy how this turned out. It turned out way better than I thought it mm -hmm. would. This was really fun to get creative and actually build something from my own head for a change. Uh, I built a lot of movies. He's got a couple of lightsabers in the background spot on. as well. It's, it's, it's and interesting, a couple of but E11 it's not, blasters. It's not being creative in this sense where you get to make something from scratch. That's a nice prop, sir. The whole choice about what it looks like. I might have to check out his channel a bit more. It looks like a really good channel. It gets uploaded. I am running my 3,000 sub challenge, which is a 20 pound lightsaber challenge. You have to build a lightsaber for 20 British pounds or under, yeah. which is about $25 US. Do give it a go because it is really fun to try and think of he ways did a really to good make job. something look cool for that budget. And I'm I'm just really happy with mine and how it turned out. It just it looks great. It feels great. Uh, it's got a good weight to it. Oh, just yeah, it's great. I also took these fantastic photos on my lightsaber. And if you want to see how I did that, stay tuned because I'll have a video coming on that really soon. Apart from that, I hope you enjoyed watching. Mm. And of course, I will see you in the next video. And until then, take care. Bye bye. Yeah. I, I thought that was a really good video. Uh, honestly, I, I really enjoyed that. I was impressed. I think he did a great job. So, I'd uh, if he does another lightsaber, I think I'd check out his uh, his next lightsaber build. It was it was pretty damn good.